Hi, I'm Paul Pan with DJI, and I'm here to explain how to build and run the Ronin. We'll start out with the mounting of 5D. Um, as you see, the Ronin here, we've already taken it out of the box and mounted the handles. Um, you can also see that uh, I've installed the Velcro straps, and if you take a look at how these straps are installed, um, you can essentially mount the Ronin to the stand and lift it off as, uh, as one single piece. Um, so let's start. This is the camera uh, dovetail plate. Uh, we're gonna mount a 5D today. Uh, let's set everything else aside <clears throat> and start here. Uh, you take out your bag, you grab the tool, the hex tool. We're gonna mount the 5D to the plate, base plate here. That's mounted. Now on the 5D, and uh, in particular with the 5D and similar SLRs, uh, what we want to do is <clears throat> we want to take the lens and the body and make sure that uh, the, the gimbal sees it as one solid piece. And uh, because of the connection point between the SLR uh, lens um, and the camera body, on these particular bodies, there is kind of a wiggle uh, whenever you try to um, move this lens or if the gimbal basically doesn't see this as one solid piece and so if any vibrations come through uh, the two uh, components will vibrate at different frequencies and so then the gimbal may start to shake. So to um, fix this issue we have uh, this uh, Y brace for the camera lens and so let's mount that. <coughs> And what I'm doing is, all I'm doing is mounting it and then just pushing up with a little bit of pressure, applying a little bit of pressure up towards the uh, lens and tightening the screw. And so now the camera is mounted on the dovetail. Next, we'll take this and mount it to the gimbal. So let's see, let me undo the straps here. Now, to keep, it, keep something in mind is, um, when you mount a camera, you want to mount it with everything, all the accessories that you're going to plan to shoot with. And so uh, typically what people do is they'll mount it and then they forget that, oh, I forgot to put in the battery or I forgot to put in the, uh, the card. And so make sure you have everything ready um, when you're mounting it and balancing. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is when you're balancing, you want to make sure to also install the battery as well because you're balancing the whole unit. Um, you're, you're balancing the whole thing as a whole unit, complete unit. So let's install the battery, push down, lock the battery in place, and let's start balancing. So first what we're going to do is we're going to mount the camera to the base plate here. Okay. And what we're going to do is first we're going to just balance the fore and aft. So let's get this. We're just going to get it just about right. First, okay, so I'm gonna lock that in place. Okay, next I'm gonna balance the roll, so it's the left and right. I'm gonna get that just about so that it doesn't move left or right when I let go. Okay. We're gonna come back to rebalancing these things after I adjust this vertical. So next is to adjust the vertical. What I'm doing is I'm gonna adjust this up and down and position the camera like so. So when I let go, the camera is not dropping forward or, or, or uh, tilting back. So I'm gonna balance this axis here. That's about right, right there. And I wanna make sure that um, with these marks on the side, I'm gonna watch these marks on both sides so that uh, they are even. Okay, that's about right, right there. So I'm locked in position. Now I'm gonna go back and rebalance this fore and aft. Okay, and then the left and right just a bit here. Okay. 
That's balanced. So what I'm looking for here is I'm going to position the camera at these angles and then the camera doesn't drop. Position this, roll, left, roll right, camera doesn't drop. Down, camera doesn't drop. That's what we're looking for. Once we have this front portion balanced, I'm going to balance this back portion here. And what we're looking for is if you want to consider this whole thing as, a, as, as one piece and consider the front portion of the uh, gimbal and then the back portion of the gimbal. And what you're doing is you're balancing it along this axis. And so if I position like this and I tilt this, uh, tilt the handle up, you'll see that right now uh, this portion of the gimbal is heavier. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to loosen these uh, tabs and then slide uh, the whole gimbal mechanism back. Let's see here. Slide back. Check the balance. It's still a little bit front heavy. Slide it back just a little bit more. Still a little bit more. So there. Um, it's just about balanced. Oh, just a bit more here. Okay, so when, wherever position I position and it's not wanting to tilt in, uh, towards a heavier side. So now this front portion and the rear portion are balanced. Okay, so right now, um, Let's, I'm going to go into how the battery works. Uh, I installed the battery earlier. I'm going to take the battery out and explain the battery system. So you undo the thumb screws here, press up, releases the battery. The battery is a 3,400 milliamp four cell battery. It's not like our uh, DJI Phantom battery and thus our charger is a special charger made specifically for a four cell battery. And so you have to keep in mind uh, when you're using our charger that we include with the Ronin package that you're only charging our four cell and not our Phantom series and not using our Phantom series of chargers to charge a Ronin battery. Um, the other thing uh, that's included in the kit are these 15 millimeter rods. These are accessory rods that install onto the front uh, base plate allowing you to install, say, like follow focus systems or um, other accessories. And so the rods just screw on here. They also are segmented. So depending on the length of the lens uh, and where you want um, to position your accessories, you just remove the, uh, the rods that you won't need. Um, the other thing that we include, we're not going to mount these rods for now. So the other thing that we include in the system is a transmitter. This is for a uh, this is a transmitter for a second operator, so let me explain how that works. I'm going to mount the battery back in and turn the system back on. And to turn the system on, we just press and hold this button for one second. Hold, let go, system will turn on, and the Ronin is on. And so how do you pair uh, the Ronin with the transmitter? You turn on the transmitter and here is a pairing button. You get something like a sharp point like this. Press down, wait, and now it's paired. So now I have control of the Ronin uh, via uh, remote control as a second operator. Let's see, next is let me explain the modes. So on the Ronin itself, we have multiple control modes. We have this free floating mode and also if say the, the Ronin operator picks up the Ronin, uh, there is no smooth track. So basically right now, smooth track is completely off. The camera uh, movement is not translated uh, based off the Ronin operator's movement. Next we have on the transmitter, we have the reset mode and the camera resets and recenters, uh, but uh, smooth track is now turned on. And so the Ronin operator will, you know, whichever way they face, uh, the, the, the Ronin, the camera will pan, uh, translating the uh, Ronin operator's movement. And then last we have 
uh, this mode, which is just uh, completely free. And, um, but the camera operator also, or the Brona operator also has uh, uh, the smooth track uh, turned on in this mode. So that's the three operation modes on the transmitter. Uh, let's reset the thing. Okay, so right now it's reset. Uh, we can turn the transmitter off and I'll explain the different operation modes of the Ronin. So one, we have the standard underslung mode with a smooth track turned on. So there's tilt uh, and pan. Next, we have the upright mode. So if I take this, the Ronin, and face it towards myself, completely flip it up, and now we have the upright mode. Uh, this allows you to shoot at eye level, and it also allows you to shoot even higher to get a high, uh, higher perspective of things. Um, lastly, we have what we call the briefcase mode. Uh, so it's transition from the upright mode back to the underslung mode. You just flip it back forward, turn it around, and uh, the briefcase mode is a mode which uh, it's hard to simulate here because we're on a tabletop, but I'm just gonna simulate it as though I was standing next to the Ronin. I'm gonna pick up this handle, basically turning this handle into this handle. So see how I'm holding it like this? I'm gonna then grab this like this, hold it down like this, and imagine me holding it next to my legs like this. So now this is the briefcase mode, and the briefcase mode has smooth track and all the axes as well. And to transition back, you just pick it back up, hold this handle again, and then it goes back into its standard underslung mode.